Hi, I'm Debbie Ellickson. This jar of coffee, instant coffee, reminds me of when I was growing up in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I would have a cup of instant coffee every night with my dad sitting around the kitchen table and during the day with my mother. They wouldn't actually have brewed coffee or percolated coffee in the house. It was always instant coffee. So this, also, this does remind me of my childhood in a way. But also you could think of different stories around it too. And, and coffee goes much deeper than that. It, there's, there's stories around the people who, who actually grow the beans to make the coffee there's the, if you went to the Amazon and took a look at an individual farmer's life and fleshed out a story from there, you could actually take a coffee shop and maybe focus on the people that come and go from the f coffee shop and their stories. What are their stories like? There's the other aspect is there's a coffee company that I am actually a distributor with, Organo Gold, and there are many stories where one cup of coffee has changed a lot of people's lives. So you could take coffee and make interesting stories out of just the concept of coffee. I actually had an idea one one night after um, after a dream that waking up one morning what would happen if all of a sudden everywhere in the world there was no coffee left. It miraculous, miraculously disappeared overnight. There was none in the, the cupboard, there was none in the stores, zip, it was gone. Imagine what the world would be like if we couldn't make our cup of coffee in the morning. Somehow I'm thinking of Stephen King's The Stand, <laughs> but you get the idea. So you could take a cup of coffee and you can make a wrap a story around it any way you want. For transmedia storytelling. Till next time.